Hi there, welcome back to City Skylines for Beginners. This is tutorial number two. We're going to learn to use um, our keyboard uh, for movement and navigation and also our mouse today. So I'm assuming everyone knows how to get to this first main menu. You just, when you click on, um, when you click on your icon for City Skylines on your desktop, it opens up to this. So once you're in here, go to New Game, and then go to, uh, you probably will have a cliffside bay at the top. Uh, if you don't, click on whatever is up there, and open it, say Start. We're just going to use this to get around in. Uh, you have to wait for this hint screen <clears throat> to finish giving you hints. So I'm going to put you on pause while we do that. Okay, and then of course it opens up and uh, you have, uh, if you're in easy mode, which hopefully you are, you'll get this congratulations thing. Just click it off and then the hello thing, click that off. Okay, so now you are in the game and you have one <clears throat> one starting square. That's not hardly enough for us to move around in to learn with, so we're going to go down to the bottom here where there is a globe at the bottom and you'll click on it. It'll say areas if you put your mouse over it. Click on that and it gives you things that you can purchase. So you'll just click on the first one and say purchase. Click on the second one and say purchase. We're just going to get a big square going here, is all we're doing. Um, we're saying we're right, we're left clicking, and then down in this dialog box down at the bottom of it, it'll say purchase, and you click on it. So now we have a place that we can, we're trying to get nine squares going here. There. So we have something to move around in. Once you have your squares, and it'll only let you guy get nine of them, keep that in mind when we're doing the city, um, you can go back down to your areas down here in the corner and click on that. It'll take you back to your beginning square. Okay, you now have something to start with. If you click, if you hold your scroll bar down on your mouse, it's in the middle of your mouse, and you push your mouse forward, you'll get this. If you, if you uh, scroll your mouse to the right, you get this effect. If you roll your mouse forward, it'll come down to the ground and it'll, you'll be able to see the skyline. Then holding the scroll bar down and pulling the mouse to the left, you get this effect. You can use, and pulling your mouse to the, while you're holding the scroll bar down, pulling your mouse to the right, you get this effect. Now, you can do the same thing with the Q and the E key. This is the Q key on the keyboard. This is the E key on the keyboard. Uh, if you do W, you'll go forward. It actually moves you through the uh, screen. If you hit the S key below it, that brings you back. The A key takes you off to the left. The D key takes you off to the right. Uh, you'll notice that you actually move around in the uh, in the map with your keyboard keys. Uh, what you can do with holding the scroll bar down with your uh, mouse is only stay stationary and move in a circle or tip the screen. This tips the screen. Rolling it forward tips the screen like this. Rolling it back tips the screen like this. Holding the scroll bar down and uh, you're still standing in one position or flying in one position and moving your mouse to the right. Holding the scroll bar down and moving your mouse to the left. Those are your keys for movement. S, W, D, A, Q, E. Scroll bar down to the left, to the right. Scroll bar scrolled, uh, 
pushed, mouse pushed fo forward, mouse pushed back, scroll bar, m actually scrolled forward, scroll bar, scrolled back. These are the things that you use to move around in your uh, in your map. So that's all I wanted to show you on that. I did want to show you though that uh, your 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 movement only goes as far as the borders. So if I'm here and I do the A key, I'm only going to go as far as that border. It won't let me go out there any further. I can I can use the scroll bar and turn around and scroll the bar forward and get a look at what's out there. I can hit the D key and the W key to get up on a hill and take a look as far as the borders allow me to do. Okay, city borders. Can't go any further. Okay, I think that's all I had to show you on uh, this tutorial. And I hope to see you in tutorial number three when um, I believe we're going to be learning how to make foothills. These hills that you see in the distance off there. Can't see them too well in this map, but I'll show you how to make foothills and all these other hills that you're scrolling over the top of. Okay, that's it for tutorial number two. Uh, again, you know how to get back to your tutorial uh, or get into your tutorial and uh, go down to the definitions and find the URL to click on to go to tutorial number three if you want to go to it immediately. See you in tutorial number three. Bye.